Hey guys, and welcome back to Skyward Sword. This should be the final episode. Unless I think of something else I need to do. But I don't think there is. So, hopefully I'm leaving through the right doors. Except it's really bright outside, so that can't be the right set of doors. It is. And hopefully we'll be able to finish this up today. <laughs> Was it smart? I didn't get anything at all. Not that. Uh, yeah, I didn't fill that up. I didn't grab any extra stuff. I didn't even put that away to grab an extra bottle. I didn't even go back up there. We're just gonna go do this. Yeah. I guess I should probably save it down here. Though I didn't really save it anywhere else. My analysis get a 0% chance of will to return unless you're able to vanquish your foe. I'm ready! Time to go in and kick us some ass up. Aw, oh, she grew a personality. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, she kind of did. So I guess I'm not really kidding, am I? Just, maybe I'm a little kidding. Wow, it's really bright here for somebody called Demise, who blackened the skies when he came out. My hair's on fire. I'm on fire! <laughs> oh, yeah. Misplaced Valor? We're trying to save our race. How is that misplaced? You're gonna keep this open for eternity? You can do that? Interesting. Why not just leave me here? It's kinda pretty here, actually. Though it does remind me somewhat of uh, the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time. Ooh, what if this was that? And then a building just appeared there. I didn't think about that before. Like they mirage the building into it or something. What if you were actually transported here? I'll try. If you were wearing 3D glasses, I could touch you. And now it's suddenly dark skies. I have the power to control weather. That's about it. Maybe that's part of her power. Don't make me stab you in the forehead. <laughs> Just talking about Ganon in this case. <laughs> Tried to punch me. Well, you trying to falcon punch me? Is that all you gonna do? Too much dark energy, apparently. Bring it on! Ow! Come on. Back to low roll, damn it. Come on. <laughs> oh, did I hit him too? Come on. Come 
Okay, come on. Phase, please. Jeez. How many hits do you take? I still raise my shield. I did two on that time. <laughs> oh my god. Can you raise your shield when I say raise your shield, please? I didn't tell him to do that attack. Thank you. This is my next phase comment with a spoiler. It's always the next phase. This is Zelda game. Oh great, now he's got a skyward strike. Ow! Come on! You gonna launch it at me sometime today? Come on! I'm just trying to see if I can get him to do it. But he doesn't seem to want to launch it at me. Yeah! I just took a big hit there. Really? Wow. I forgot to say something. Finish him! Fucking cheap shot. Oh, we're gonna have him hit you immediately before your sword even comes out of the fucking ground. Thanks, game! I swear he did like 10 hearts of damage to me with one of his hits. <laughs> I don't know how many it was. I think it was 8. The one that killed me and I was like, what just happened? I took the big hit? Yeah, that. I don't know how many hearts I took of damage there. All I know is that it kicked my ass. This fight isn't that hard. I think I just got unlucky a couple times. Well, I sure as hell didn't choose the Renegade Path. Anyway. <sighs> if you're having issues with him, use a uh, Guardian Potion Plus. He'll be invincible to everything for like three minutes. And if you want to make it even easier, it probably won't take three minutes to do this that way. But if you want to... Oh, wait. Yeah, just remember what he says here. Shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood-soaked sea of darkness for all time. Okay, take care now. Bye bye then. I'm disappearing. Yep.
Oh, it works again, huh? What was I saying before? I don't even know. I can confirm the erection of the Green King. No, eradication. I know what it says. <laughs> Just being a dick. Oh, that's a great place for it. No, oh, and it's now sealed away. Oh, that's that's terrific. It's not like any other seals are going to get broken in the future. <laughs> Just saying. Technically, this is the first in the timeline, so in the future, a lot of seals are going to be broken. What, I wasn't late this time? Oh, that was that was quick. Already back on your feet, huh? I just beat him. So at the time it took for me to beat him, I had to beat him first. Seal him in the Master Sword, and then climb back up here. <laughs> she was able to go through all that and wake back up without any complications, huh? The Legend of Bruce. Should have they should have had them turn away, turn around like, what? <laughs> no, I like this time better. It's more peaceful. <laughs> Oh, look, a magical... Oh, it's just spy. <laughs> I prefer Zelda. I prefer you to have some fucking eyes. Where are your pupils at? Not worried about her irises, but where the fuck are her pupils at? She don't need color to them, she just needs them to be there. Uh, I don't... See, my thing here is I never thought Link thought of her as a servant. Just as somebody who was leading him and happened to be in the sword. Uh, why did you duck? <laughs> she always disappears back into the sword. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> what if I need it again? I guess if we ever did need it again, he could always pull it back out, right? Wait, why are we doing it in the past, though? I guess because we killed the Mize in the past. What, did we hit a time shift stone? It'll never be used again. It totally won't be reforged again. It totally won't be reforged into other items again. A sword goes through so many makeovers. <laughs> Master Sword's supposed to be the strongest thing ever, but then in every other game you upgrade it somehow. Except for upgrading it of time. Once you get that's like the only sword you get. Until the end when they're like, hey, let's uh let's empower it so you can give it the final blow. That's what it is merely a serving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aw, oh, Fi's got most precious data. Jack in Fi, power up. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. She goes sleeping there forever, but we never see her again. Maybe she's too busy maintaining the seal on it. I have no idea. Either that or Demise is just strong enough to move her out of the way. Even inside the sword. So that his hatred can continue on because of his curse. Who knows? Maybe she gets reincarnated because of that and becomes Navi. You know? Maybe that's what happens. In another life. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, 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 listen. This corridor's twisted, yo. <laughs> Navi doesn't really get on my nerves that much most of the time. I have I see an issue here. <laughs> that uh that sheath. Why does he still have that? He can't use the sword anymore. Is he gonna make a sword that fits into it? Might as well leave the sheath there too. That's a good point. Can we just make your time period the other one? really short, isn't she? <laughs> oh, Hylia's letting her her uh, human side get in the way. She spent too much time with Zelda. <laughs> Hey, guess what? The buys never come back. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> Wait. How are you gonna watch over the Triforce? Isn't that our time? Unless her, well, if they were then, then I guess she kind of did steal a little way. Okay, there, Buck. Ignore me. What is up with that hoop? That's that big hoop. That would have been really neat in this game. The Eye of Truth. Lens of Truth. Eye of Truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll meet again, too. Wait, Impa is the only human in the earth. Yeah, he does call, we do call ourselves humans. Uh, she's the only human in this time period, because we don't ever see anybody else in here. All we see is Kikwis, Magmas, monster, uh, Gorons, and monsters. So is Impa the only human in this timeline? Or that timeline? Or time period? Not blind. And gone. No sword. No way to use it, right? But the sword's up there. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Granny! Have you figured it out yet? Huh? Huh? Have you figured it out yet? Yeah. Can't figure it out. It's Impa. I hope I didn't ruin that throughout the other 80 episodes. <laughs> Remember this one heart performance you had here? Yeah, that's all it's ever used for. You remember that? That's surprising. Yeah, we can't go visit her. Time gate's been destroyed. Oh. 
<sighs> and now she's gone. That must be made out of something really sturdy. I still don't understand why they're on her hair. The wrist ones I, I understand and they're okay. The hair ones I don't understand. Will they just slip off? What the fuck happened to the doors too? <laughs> Apparently they got fixed. That wall is freaking out. It was freaking out. It's got my finger on the A button. Just trying to keep things going, you know? Just because I have to hit a button. I don't want to hit two, though. So in the future, this place gets taken down and becomes, or the plants get taken down and this becomes the Temple of Time. Well, that's probably what they're hinting at, but every time I look at that, all I see is a link to the past. Scott and uh, Twilight Princess area, you know? It's in the, the woods. Anyway, that was it. Or this is it for Skyward Sword. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun playing it. Unfortunately, the hard drive crashed. Messed up a lot of stuff I had to do. But I had fun playing through it again. Because I had to actually play through the whole game for a third time. Uh, to get back here. To do it again. To finish it. But it was fun. I got to kick some more ass. Uh, I'll tell you, I do enjoy this game. I hate the going back and forth play. They could just take that out. Or find like input a fast forward feature for it in the future games. They want to add that type of stuff in there. That'd be really nice because flying through the sky, as you saw in the previous episode, I went from clutching from coming down here and goddess got, grabbing goddess chest and stuff like that. It took me ten minutes to get back. Yeah, it's a little tedious. And all I was doing was flying through the sky, grabbing two chests. Of course, they were on opposite sides of each other, but still, it's annoying. I'll tell you what I do like. I like this right here, this uh, side part, the uh, screen. I like that they're showing little pieces of her journey. It's nice to see what she was doing during the time when we were doing things or on our way there or whatever. You know, for a second there, I thought she was going to do the blitz ball thing, the prayer from Final Fantasy X. What are you doing? I think she used the goddess, the. Uh... Uh, goddess statues, that's wrong. The burn statues to get places? Surprise! Uh, really? Good look, a heart. Rasengan! I had a girl's night out, apparently. Or girls timeout. So I don't know the call. Where are you? Ah, that's where we are. Okay. There's a time gate, you know, we're in the field ground or the temple or whatever you call that time period. Wait, nope, that's wrong. And they're probably just showing us a map, but that's that's fallen. You, no, that can't be up there. Take that. No, get it out of here. Look how Beatles are flying right now. Oh, he does have something to sell. One thing, I never bought it. I never bought the bug metal. Whoops, sorry Beetle. That's like 500 rupees you'll never get back. <sighs> yep, missed the bug metal. Should have done that while I was in Skywalk. Big tree, big, big, big tree. It's a really big tree. Really big tree. 
Anyway, anyway, I got off track there. Uh, so, as I was saying in the previous episode, there was, uh, people like to speculate, or from what I've seen, there's a theory about, uh, the Master Sword and sealing the Mize up. As I was saying, we should just stab it into the ground and seal up that dark portal there. Well, I saw something talking about that, and people were, or one person at least, was saying that maybe Impa moved it to be there, and it became the pedestal in our time, because the Master Sword was never there in our time, because we were, we had it, we were using it, because it was made in our time. So, that's, that's what people like to... Or I saw somebody speculating about that she moved it out there to be the seal to hold that in place, and that's why that sword or that pedestal type thing, sealing marker, slab, whatever it's called, uh, activates or resonates with the master sword and the skyward strikes and stuff like that because it is the same sword. I mean, it would make it makes a little bit of sense, but I just like to go that it was a stone that the goddess made. Specifically to steal it away, you know? But it makes sense. It can make a little bit of sense. I'm not big on fan theories or something like that, but... Whatever. It makes a little bit of sense in my opinion. Worth mentioning. Because I've always thought, why don't we just stab it to the ground here and just leave the final part open? You won't ever get back out. The sword's complete and there it is. <sighs> hey, that's still glowing. I love this music. I probably say that a lot through this Let's Play. There's also parts of this uh, Let's Play that have been marked as uh, that I can't put monetization on, but I don't worry about it because the songs in here are so great. I love the songs. I wouldn't want to take that away, you know? And yes, I can't monetize videos. Some of them get away, certain ones are dull. I don't think this one will, but still. Uh, I just love the music so much that I don't worry about it. Like at all. I just play the game to have fun. If it gets by and lets me monetize it, awesome. You know? If not, whatever. I still have fun playing the game. So. I just, I'm just kind of like, whatever. Nintendo is all this also. So far, it's a popular. All right, let's turn. There's the track for Oars. So, K. Poor came down here at one point in time and decided that he wanted to be an owl forever. <laughs> Made a wish on the Triforce and became, a <laughs> became an owl. That stalks you through time. Great wish, Headmaster! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think that happens. <sighs> Told you he'd come down here, though. My bird! His bird. No, my bird. Where is his bird? It's so pretty down here. It's like a bug heaven. I like how Goose's bird has a pompadour, too. It's kind of weird. Best song in the game. I don't know. I just like this song so much. Link's playing that song, huh? He had the harp out. I'm going to assume he was playing it. I guess now they can ride their birds down here. There's nothing. There's no dark clouds in the way, right? I was going to swear Goose said he liked it down here. Maybe he's just visiting. And two. <laughs> well, you've got to see a lot of it now. Or most of it, probably. 
How did you know it was a tile that was warm? Okay. I want to go home and take a nap because this has been a long journey for me. <laughs> he didn't have parents anyway. Why didn't they just stay down here? They could have made big. They could have made baby loft wings together. And thus Hyrule was born. And whatever game in the timeline came after it. What game does come after this in the timeline? Uh, is it Minish Cap? I think? <laughs> or is it Four Sword? I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I'm trying to think if there's anything after this that's going to show. I can't recall. So we're just going to stay here and wait a minute. Hopefully I can put this all up in one episode. I don't think there is, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Oh no, it's going back into widescreen format. Letterbox. Oh no. You have conquered hero mode. Congratulations. Do you want to create a save just before the final battle? Sure. Saved. Uh, did I not save it before the final battle? Wait, what was the two for? I don't think it was for anything. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for Let's Play Skyward Sword. I have completed it for the second time in this Let's Play. I have got a Triforce above or by my name. Total time for, uh, what is this one? 5108. I added, what, 51 out or 50 hours and 30 minutes to it? Yeah. That was a, this is a fun game. A little tedious at points, but it's fun. And I'll leave, I'll leave you looking at this, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll catch you next time when we play another Zelda game or whatever else is coming out. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next Let's Play, guys. Peace out. Thank you.